so great to be here with the four of you. Let's start with Amanda Serrano. Amanda, back in 2019, you fought Heather Hardy. You beat her to become featherweight champion. Now you're the undisputed champion. You've got so much ice over there, I can skate on it. It's unbelievable. I just, I'm trying to be cool with the lingo. I don't know if it's working, but I'm trying my best, Amanda. Why are you fighting her again four years later? Um, Heather is a great fighter, you know, she's um, the tough as they come, she gave me the opportunity to become undisputed, I needed her to accomplish that dream, and I don't think anyone is more worthy than, than um, Heather Hardy to receive a six-figure payday. I have a platform, I have an amazing team that's giving me this opportunity as well as, as Heather Hardy, so she's well deserving of it. Let's go, Amanda! Heather, big opportunity for you to become champion once again, this time yeah. undisputed champion. What is the difference between the Heather Hardy that we see today and the one that fought Amanda Serrano four years ago? Uh, Amanda called me out last last time in 2019 to defend the title and I didn't even think about it, I just said yes and half my team was like, ah, oh, she's going to kill you, she's going to beat you, she's going to knock you out and um, I went into the fight like that and I hated myself for it but my mom taught me you don't always get second chances so I'm blessed, I have a second chance and I train hard and train different for this. Can't wait for it. Nathan, it's great to see you again my man. Expected from the Texas crowd. Uh, yesterday, Jake told me that he considers you a bully, that he's going to bully the bully on Saturday. Can I get your response to that statement? I think he's a bully. Why do you think he's a bully? Jake, why is he a bully? He throws water bottles at us and people chokes him out in the streets, talks a lot of Boo yourselves. Boo yourselves. Boo yourselves. I'm gonna bully the bully. This little guy that you guys love over here, he's gonna be dead on Saturday night. I'm gonna finish his career. He says he's gonna finish your career on Saturday night. Bully. <laughs> he says that's a bully statement that you're gonna finish his career. I'm gonna, but yeah, bully the bully, 100. percent That's what I just said. Is he dumb? Rhetorical question. This can't even speak. A lot has been said. The guys up there, the zone crew, were talking about how good you look in the ring. That you are in the best shape of your career. Do you believe that is true? And if so, what has been the difference in this camp as opposed to your previous camps? Yeah, one hundred percent. Best shape of my life. Feeling, feeling amazing. Brought in a whole entire new team. Strength and conditioning, nutrition, and coach. All of that. And I'm feeling good. You know, and. and when I'm in a shape like this, when I have the proper time to prepare, you're going to see a different version of the best version of Jake Paul you've ever seen. Nate, you are the, the face of Real Fight Inc. You've always been a real fighter, and even your, your biggest foes respect you because you are a real fighter. Is this man, in your opinion, a real fighter? <clears throat> Let's go, Jake! Yeah! Let's go, Jake! They don't know how to defend a choke. I think, did you say, can you defend a choke? Can you defend a choke? Can, can you accept my offer to fight in MMA? But no, you're acting like a I have $10 million for you in MMA, and you still haven't accepted it. After I fuck you up in boxing, I'm coming to MMA, and I'm worse. I'm going to choke your Don's right there, they're like smack with a beer last time he did it, he was tired. interest you at all? So it's, it's, you're not done with MMA, right? Let's go, Jay! Hell no. He don't want that. He don't want that. 
How do you expect the fight to play out, Jake? Fuck him up! He's gonna come in swinging, doing the... Don't guys. I'm gonna weather the storm and knock him the... He's never been hit. He's never been hit by someone like me. By someone like me, I promise you that. That's why I keep on sleeping and putting these UFC champs to the canvas. Let's send it over to the uh, media. I want to see what the media has in store for all of us. Let's see if they've got some questions for Nathan, Jake, and Matt. Seeing a lot of love for Nathan now. I'm seeing a lot of love for Jake. Yeah! Is this the end of the country? Yeah! Or is this problem child territory? Yeah! Feels like a 50 50 situation. Alright, who's up first? Round one! I don't see. Question from the media, you are up first. Make it good, my man. Uh -huh. Ten thousand another week with this stuff for a good old Jake. How much does anybody help you out with your conditioning to get you ready? Because he's a world class trainer and you kinda tired last time. So this time you think you get the late night out with Larry in your corner. Yeah, it's a world of difference. When you bring in one of the best strength and conditioning coaches in the world, I'm prepared. I'm excited to go 10 rounds. That's what Nate wanted, and so I'm going to give it to him, and he's going to regret wanting to go the distance and go far with me. But Larry Wade made the world of the difference. And how important is he to stop him? We've seen him get choked out and all that, and then when he's going to get knocked out, how much is it that you have to knock him out and be that guy? I promise I'm going to be the first person to make this man go to sleep. Unconscious Nate. Question for both of you, and let me begin with Nate Diaz first. With all this bully talk, what happens if the two of you run into each other on a dark street and there's nobody around? In real life, no cameras, what happens then? Nate Diaz, you go first. Did you hear the question? Yeah, like right now, I'm not going to be walking around on the streets. So. <laughs> I mean down the road, right? down the road. If you run into this man away from the cameras all alone, how does that play out in real life? Take it! I, I'm not looking for this. Same question, Jake Paul. I'm going to bend him over and... Every, every great story has a hero and a, and a villain. In this situation, who's the good guy? Who's actually the bad guy? Who's the good guy? Who's the baby face? Who's the heel? Standing on business. I'm gonna grab your cheeks in the ring on Saturday night. Trust me. Hey, everyone, look out! I'm grabbing his cheeks. Trust. Last question, Jake. Uh, this event is not only being presented by Celsius, the essential energy drink that has taken over the entire game. But now they've also taken over combat sports, not just with UFC fighters, but also the entire PFL. And now this card is going to stream live on ESPN Plus, which is history in the making. Can you speak? A, you're a smart businessman. Can you speak a little bit about how huge it is to partner on this event with such enormous brands like Celsius and ESPN Plus and make history? What is that like for you and your business model? Hashtag ad. Yeah. It, it's amazing, man. I'm, I'm excited. It's such a big event. The Celsius, the best drink in the world. ESPN Plus, what, one of the best platforms in the world. The Zone, one of the best platforms in the world. Uh, you know, I, I'm just happy to be here. We're in Texas, doing it big, baby. Everything's yeah. bigger in Texas. Let's go. Yeah. All right, who's up next? Okay. Hey guys, uh, Derek. Oh, not you again. <laughs> keep it, keep it professional. I actually just wanted to apologize for the last press conference. I hear it. Uh, when I asked to fight your brother in the undercard, uh, I'm just I'm sorry that your feelings were hurt. That was more of a statement than a question. Oh, no, it was an apology. Okay, fine, fair and, enough. And like it's you know, maybe if your boys see me, maybe they won't this week. Anything to say, Nate? Can't wait to watch Jake knock you the Hey, bring this little
All right, let's move this along. And please check the movie. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Watch out, guys, the big man! My man. What's going on, guys? I'm so scared, big man! Yeah! Yeah. yeah! Bring it to the ring, bring it to the ring, yeah. man. Let's go, yeah, We get to fight in two days. I'm glad you're mad. Get emotional. Let's go, Nate! What's going on, guys? So, Jake, you were talking about a rematch in the cage. Obviously, both of you guys have very popular older brothers. Can you imagine your brothers having a match in the cage as well on that card? Is that something that you're looking forward to? Nate versus Logan as well as you versus Nate in the cage. And we'll see, he needs to accept the offer, but he's ducking me, duck, duck, goose over here. Yeah. This is Saul with the Kasaka Boxing. The question for Nate. Nate, would you ever consider going back with Dana? As far as the MMA, I know you're free agent and Jake wants a rematch. I, I mean, we still have to see Saturday how he plays out. So, you know, based on that, you know, that's just a question. If you don't want to answer, that's cool. I get you, boss. I didn't, I actually, I didn't understand the question. Oh, it was if he would ever go back with the Dana as far as the uh, UFC. Would he ever go back to the UFC? Yeah, with Dana White. Yeah. Oh, with Dana. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah, was like, yeah, would you ever go back to the UFC? Yeah, I plan on finding, uh, I think it's fights, the hardest fights for the rest of the rest of my time, so, sure. Alright, we'll take a, a couple more here, my man over there. This uh, question is for me with uh, one uh, world-renowned trainer, Robert Garcia at Robert Garcia Boxing Academy. Explain, as far as the preparation, uh, the sparring, or any advice that you received from Robert with his years of experience in boxing. No, he did. He was, it was a good uh, little training camp we had over there. We had good work, and uh, we talked a little bit, but, but nothing major I could think off top right now. World class trainer is Richard Perez. Richard Perez, of course, has been by your side for the entire run of your career. Uh, yesterday, uh, Nate, you mentioned it's either kill or be killed, and we asked Jake. He said he was going to be doing the killing, and that he was going to kill you in the ring. When you hear that, what goes through your mind? Does it get you more motivated? And as far as uh, first round, what are you going to fight against? Was that a question for Jake or Nate? For both. For both, Jake, you go first. Yeah, I didn't know what the question was either. Uh, do you mind just repeating it very quickly? Yesterday at the uh, media day, Nate said that it was kill or be killed. And when we asked uh, Jake, he mentioned he was going to be doing the killing and that you weren't going to make it uh, to the end of the fight. He was going to kill you in the ring. When you hear those, uh, as far as the antagonizing and the, um, you know, the... What, what goes through your... It's, your not, it's not being antagonizing or... Tell the truth, sir. Sit him down, Jay. Can I get a picture? Kill All right, there's one last one. You get the final word. Uh, my question is for everybody on the panel. How excited are you guys to perform for this amazing Dallas crowd? Super excited. Super excited to be the undisputed champion, and I'm going to leave the undisputed champion here in Dallas. Sorry, that was Amanda. Heather. Do you want to say something about fighting in front of the Dallas crowd? I'm excited. Okay. I think you guys are excited too. I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm a ball on his face like Luka Doncic dropping 40 in his face. Final word to you, Nate? Luka Doncic on his head ass. A man of few words. All right, we're going to uh, face off the fighters now, so stay tuned for that. That should be 